Photo Document is a unique arts education social enterprise. Our aim is to address complex global issues by combining world-class documentary photography with a positive and solutions-based approach. We commission photographers worldwide to produce photo essays which bring visibility to inspiring global initiatives as a force for potential change. We showcase the collective work through large-scale exhibitions installed in prominent public spaces, such as train stations, as well as online. Our aim is to reach a large and diverse audience in order to inspire, motivate and ultimately to affect behaviour change. So engage viewers through an education programme and an online participatory fringe project. We believe that documentary photography has the power not only to inform, but also to transform. What I liked about Photo Document from the outset was the integrity, the passion and the professionalism of the people behind it. I immediately knew it was something I really wanted to get involved with. We see too much environmental campaigning around negative messages and to see really positive environmental messages about what's being done around the world is inspirational. I'm hoping the outcome will be an upsurge of interest both in photography and the environment but also environmental action and a real passionate interest from people uh, in the internationalism of these photographs but what's possible for them and we're working with schools to try and ensure that they get a piece of this as well through our environmental education programme. My name is Rodney Decker and I'm a documentary photographer working from Australia. We depend on finite resources which we cannot exhaust forever and I've photographed a couple of responses to this resource depletion. In terms of reducing waste, I've photographed a family that shops without plastic bags and composts most of the organic material that they bring into the house. I've also photographed a zero waste cafe that accepts no packaging whatsoever and dehydrates all organic material into a rich fertiliser. There are many recycling schemes in Australia. In South Australia, there's the very successful container deposit legislation where people receive a 10 cent refund for every drink bottle that they recycle. I've also photographed a number of groups that clean up rubbish along beaches, rivers and the street. In today's media, the notion of balance is skewed, not only in terms of objectivity, but also in terms of negativity, focusing on stories that have negative outcomes. Photo document in some part addresses this imbalance, and by doing so they provide a positive feedback process of inspiration and information about some of the awesome things that people are doing around the world. My name is Tom Rees. My project is a documentary photo essay that explores how human beings can improve our buildings, our critical habitat. It explores how we can construct and use these places where we live and work in ways that are healthier and more sustainable. I am photographing what will be the greenest and most energy efficient commercial building in the world. This building produces enough electricity and enough water to fulfill all of its own needs. The importance of photo document is that it asks the essential question, what if? What if the ideas and dreams highlighted by these projects prove themselves and are able to achieve the positive outcomes they hope for? And what if enough people around the world see what's possible and decide they can be part of the solutions? I think one of the most interesting things about photo document, as an organization, its primary goal is to explore resolutions to important issues, particularly around the environment, and encouraging photographers not just to look at cause and effect, 
but actually to also provide some kind of answers or at least offer suggestions of how things could change and I think that's quite unique. The other unique thing about PhotoDocument is the fact that in a time of receding budgets, here we have an organisation that is actively commissioning photographers um, and helping to raise the profile of documentary photography, which can only be something that we can celebrate. Thank you.